Well, I want to go to Europe now and the country with the highest COVID infection rate there, Turkey. It's now minutes away from a strict nearly three-week national lockdown. Streets have been packed with people stocking up, getting supplies and boarding buses uh, to try to get out of the city altogether. Turkey took less than stringent me measures earlier this month when the country saw more people than ever get the virus and die of it. At one point, some 60,000 cases a day were being reported. Well, CNN's Awa Damon joins us now from Istanbul. And Awa, this lockdown set to happen uh, in less than 30 minutes. And, and as I just mentioned, people there stocking up on supplies. They're stocking up on supplies that they think they won't be able to access, Linda. They're also trying to, or at least they were before the bank shut down, get to the bank, get to the notary. Um, banks and government offices are going to be operating on limited hours only. But yes, this is going to be a tough nearly three-week period uh, for people who are here. It is the holy month of Ramadan, at the end of which you also have the Muslim holiday of Eid. So people are also trying to go out and get presents for uh, the children, although celebrations will obviously be significantly muted this year. Now, a lot of people, when you talk to them, they say that they understand why the government had to do this, but there is a certain level of frustration that this wasn't done sooner. There's a certain level of frustration that when the government uh, eased restrictions earlier in the year, it arguably eased them too fast by allowing um, dining to take place indoors. And then we also had a number of occasions where there were large um, political rallies that took place. And then people themselves also got complacent. And this is uh, ultimately the end result of that. What the government wants to do is as quickly as possible, bring down that infection rate to 5,000 people a day. And then we're talking about right now it hovering at around above 40,000. Why does the government want to do this? Not just uh, to try to bring down infection rates among its own population, but also uh, because Turkey can't afford the blow to its own economy and it wants to save its tourism season. Yeah, and speaking of tourists, our tourists, despite this lockdown, as I understand it, are still free to travel there. Yes, uh, they are. And this is something that Turkey uh, has done since COVID began. On weekends, uh, whenever they would implement weekend lockdowns, tourists would be is exempt from that. There are They are exempt from curfew hours. And right now, yes, they are free to travel here. Tourist sites uh, will be open and significantly less crowded. Of course, tourists also, though, will not be able to go out to restaurants, go out to cafes, uh, only at the hotel where they are staying. And so on the one hand, Turkey's saying, you know, come visit. You're pretty much going to have the country to yourself and all of the touristic sites uh, to yourself. But on the other hand, it's also still trying to give out that image of being, you know, a key touristic destination. Look, Turkey relies heavily on its tourism income to try to boost its economy. And as I was saying, given how badly the economy has been uh, doing lately, Turkey most certainly does not want to risk at this stage giving that impression that tourists are not welcome or that tourists are potentially in danger. And our uh, Turkey started its vaccination campaign in, in mid-January. Just explain for us how that's progressing and which vaccines they've been able to procure. Well, you know, Linda, it started off fairly well, but it has slowed down right now. And Turkey is struggling a little bit with its vaccine supply. Um, Turkey received the Chinese vaccine, Sinovac. We also have a few million doses of Pfizer. And now Turkey has just uh, inked a deal with uh, Russia for the Sputnik vaccine. But this is also something that is going to be quite critical, as it is elsewhere in the world, for Turkey to be able to uh, open up moving forward. They have also, um, the government has said, uh, been they're going to start lengthening the time frame between um, the vaccines. So extending, for example, if you've gotten the uh, BioNTech Pfizer vaccine, you won't be getting your second dose four weeks later, but rather six to eight weeks uh, later. So they're trying to stretch out, it would seem, the supply that they already have to get as many people vaccinated um, as possible at this stage, while at the same time sourcing um, other vaccines elsewhere. Turkey also 
is in the process in phase three uh, testing trials of its own domestically produced vaccine. So most certainly the government is looking everywhere um, to try to get as many people vaccinated as possible because as we keep saying over and over again, getting those vaccines into people's arms is going to be key to bringing this virus under control. Absolutely, it certainly will be key. Awa Damon for us in Istanbul. Take care and thanks so much.